Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Whitley and today we are doing round three of Shoots and Ladders, Chooses My TBR. I will leave a link down in the description of the playlist so far. If this is your first TBR Shoots and Ladders game that you have seen from me so far, I will give you a brief rundown of the board and the rules. If I hit a ladder, that is a mood read. I can read whatever I want. If I hit a slide, I will have to do the prompt above and below that slide, therefore adding a book to my TBR. I will roll five times. Each color correlates to a category of cards that I will draw from. Green is genres. Pink is representation yellow is themes, blue is settings, and purple are just random challenges. So without further ado, let's get into the rules. Okay, last month we got up to space 76. We're getting close, guys. Let's see if we can make it happen. Roll number one. A six. Good start. And that is a green mystery. Roll number one was a six, heck of a start, and I landed on a green and that was a mystery and for that I have chosen The Guest List by Lucy Foley. The Guest List follows a wedding party all gathered together for this wedding off of the coast of Ireland. But when someone ends up murders, everybody's personal relationships and motives are questioned as everyone is trying to clear their name and try to figure out who among them is a murderer. I have heard this is a very Agatha Christie-esque murder mystery and I am so excited. I've been wanting to read this for quite some time. I have heard absolutely raving reviews, so cannot wait to get started. Roll number two. A four. And another green. Literary fiction. Rule two was another green and I got a literary fiction. And for this, I have chosen Follow Me to Ground by Sue Rainford. I don't know a lot about this book. I know that it is a very strange one and I do know that it follows a father-daughter duo who heal people by burying them. Like I said, I don't know a lot about it, so I'm gonna read the synopsis for you. Ada and her father, touched by the power to heal illness, live on the edge of a village where they help sick locals or cures by cracking open their damaged bodies or temporarily burying them in in the reviving dangerous ground nearby. Ada, a being both more and less than human, is mostly uninterested in the cures until she meets a man named Samson. When they strike up an affair to the displeasure of her father and Samson's widowed pregnant sister, Ada is torn between her old way of life and new possibilities with her lover and eventually come to a decision that will forever change Samson, the town, and the ground itself. Follow Me to Ground lingers long after its final page, pulling the reader into a dream between fairy tale and nightmare, desire and delusion, folk tale and warning. That just sounds super weird, super creepy, and I am so excited to dig into it. Pun intended. Roll number three. We have a five. And that is a yellow. Family. For roll number three, I landed on yellow and I had to find a book with a family theme and I have chosen A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. In this, we follow Connor, a young boy who has been having these really weird dreams ever since his mother has fallen ill. And one night he is visited by this spirit asking for some kind of truth. Again, I don't know a lot about it, you guys should know by now, I don't like knowing a whole lot about my books before I go into them, but I am quite nervous to read this one because all of the reviews that I have read and everything that I have heard about this book, although I do hear that it is very lovely, I also hear that it is heart-wrenching. And listen, I am an emotional wreck most of the time anyway, so kind of scared for my feelings and my eyeballs, but I've honestly heard nothing but beautiful things about this story and I am looking forward to reading it. I got the version with the illustrations accompanying the story and I'm super excited to get into it. Roll number four. Let's see if we can avoid these last slides. I probably just jinxed myself. Three. Okay. Crisis averted, and that is a green. Thriller. 
Roll number four was Another Grain, and I got a thriller. And for this, I have chosen No Exit by Taylor Adams. No Exit follows a young woman who is stuck at this rest stop due to this huge storm that blows in while she is driving to see her mother. And while at this rest stop, she discovers a little girl in a cage in the back of a van. And there are only four other people at this rest stop with her, and she has to try to rescue this little girl while also trying to figure out which one of those four people is a kidnapper with no cell reception, no drivable roads, and four strangers stuck at this rest stop with her, one of whom is a child kidnapper. She has to find a way to help this little girl escape and also get herself out of this terrible situation. This is honestly probably going to be the first book I read in this TBR because I am so excited to read this. I have heard that it is so suspenseful, like it has you on the edge of your seat the entire time. It has like the hairs on your back standing up and I am so here for that. I am so excited. And you know it's got to be good when Joe Hill is given his praise. Joe Hill said, no exit is everything I want in a thriller, ingeniously crafted, unapologetically relentless, and shamelessly suspenseful. The twists go off like a series of expertly planned detonations and the tension never lets up. I was blown away. So excited. Okay, last roll. Roll number five. I do not want a four but I would love a six. Let's see what we get. A one. Okay, we can deal with that. And that is a blue. Set in a different country. And the last roll of March. Almost there, guys. We're almost there. We are definitely gonna win this game next month, which means I can't buy books. I am so excited. I'm gonna have to make a list. I'm gonna have to make a list of books I need to buy. There's so many choices. I have some planning to do. Anyway, last roll. I landed on a blue, which was set in a different country. And for this, I have chosen Take a Hand, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. I have been so excited to read this ever since I finished Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Y'all know I gave that five stars. Absolutely loved it. And I've heard that some people like this even more. In this, we follow Chloe's sister, Danny, who is like this badass businesswoman who is not into romance at all. And she ends up getting stuck in an elevator with a security guard named Zaf, who is hella cute, and he is actually captured carrying her out of this elevator in his arms, swoon worthy, and the internet goes crazy. And I believe he has this like charity thing that he's trying to get off the ground. And since the internet is already buzzing about these two, they decide to play it up on cameras and enter into this fake relationship. And it's good for Zaf because he needs the exposure for this charity thing he has. And it's good for Danny because she's looking for some friends with benefits. And I'm just so excited to see how this all plays out. I know that we get some really good mental health representation in this, which makes me even more excited. And it's male mental health awareness, which I feel like is such an underrated thing in books. And I am so excited to read about it. And I cannot wait. To get started. I'm not sure which one I'm more excited about, this one or No Exit, but I am honestly so happy with this whole TBR. So that is it. That is my March TBR. We are on space 96, guys. We are so close. We will definitely hit that book haul next month, and I'm so excited for it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have read any of these books, let me know what you think down in the comments, and let me know what you're going to be reading this month. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you have a great day, a great week. Continue to stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.